Yo, 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 DJ Rainier here. The purpose of this video is to help you set up a secondary laptop that mirrors your main laptop. Uh, there, I do have to preface it by saying that it does need to be a MacBook Pro. You do need to be running Serato and you do need to have it as an internal library. So you have a MacBook Pro with an internal library running Serato and you want a backup computer to mirror that MacBook Pro and that secondary computer also needs to be a MacBook Pro running Serato with an internal library. Um, the other thing I do wanna say is I tried to make this kind of quick and to the point on a previous take and I realized that I do need to go into some detail just so you understand the steps and, and you're more successful. So without further ado, uh, let me jump into it. First thing you need to do is download this awesome program, um, Carbon Copy Cloner. Purchase it on their website. Make sure you download the version that coincides with the version of Mac OS that you are running. So if you're you know, running El Capitan or uh, uh, Snow Leopard or Mavericks or whatever, just make sure you download the correct version. Um, so I am running a external Samsung T5 and I'm using this um, in order to take my current library, put it on here, and then transfer it uh, to the, uh, the backup computer. The main, main advantage to Carbon Copy Cloner is once you've done that, and then fast forward a month from now, you've downloaded 100 new songs and you've deleted 20 songs off your main computer's library, and you're gonna to go to a gig and you want the most updated uh, version of your library on your backup computer because you wanna bring this just in case something happens to this one. It's not going to copy the entire library again, you know, a two hour process or however long, you know, depending on how uh, big your library is. It's only going to change and download those 100 new songs that you did and it's gonna delete the 20 off of the um, backup computer. So instead of a process taking two hours, it's gonna take probably three or four minutes. And I'll explain all that right now. Um, something that you do need to have, the, uh, a step that you need to uh, make sure you uh, uh, do in order for this to be successful is the folder hierarchy has to match on both computers. So what does that mean? If you notice, this says music, and then I have Serato, Serato backup, music folder and video folder. By the way, ignore iTunes. I don't know how it got there. I don't want to delete it in case it causes any issues. Every time I want to delete it, I have a gig coming up and I'm like, you know what? It's not giving me any problems, so I'm not going to touch it. But yeah, just kind of ignore this. I don't use iTunes. But you'll notice Serato, Serato backup, music folder, video folder. And then when I go to the backup computer, it's the same. Music, Serato, Serato backup. The reason for this is so that when you open up Serato on the backup laptop, you will not have to press relocate lost files or anything like that. It's just gonna work exactly how this one is working. Um, so let me show you real quick how Carbon Copy Cloner works. So right now, the goal is to take this my library from here and dump it onto here and then do the same thing over here. So right now the source would be my internal uh, Serato library uh, music. So I will click this, choose a folder. Um, I'm gonna go to desktop and music folder. So now my source is my music music folder, just like here music music folder and then i want it to go to the external hard drive which is the samsung t5 um and we would what you can do is if you have a folder like this you would dump the entire folder um onto this area uh over here you would pick the entire folder and then press ok because I didn't do that the first time, I have to now do it one by one, which is fine, it's not a big deal, but you can skip that step. So now I'm doing, okay, music folder to 
the uh, external. I'm gonna press clone. I did this recently, so it's not gonna take a very long time. By the way, you want this set to off. It's gonna warn you, you just press run now. It's analyzing, okay, what changes did he make? I didn't make very many, so this is gonna be really quick. And it's done. So now I have, let's say, I don't know, let's say I downloaded 10 songs and deleted one, boom, it just did it in nine seconds uh onto the external so now i have to exit the external let me get out of this program so i'm going to uh disconnect the external okay now the external is safe to unplug i'm going to plug it into this computer i have carbon copy cloner up already and now the source will be the external the samsung t5 I, i'll do it for you just so you can see it choose a folder samsung t5 music folder okay and i want it to go what is the destination well the destination is my internal music so i go here um hold on desktop music folder so music folder to music folder. This one might take a little longer because this is an older computer, but let me clone it, yes. So it's thinking, it's checking it out. All right, what did he change from the last time? The other one was nine seconds. This seems to be more like, let's see, it's almost done. That's it. So that took 20 seconds. Um, and that's it. So now I would do that. Um, I did it only for one folder. I would do it for four folders. Um, but that basically creates a, an exact copy of what those folders are onto this computer. And because you set up the folder hierarchy to match your original when you open up uh serato you don't have to press relocate lost files or anything like that you just you're ready to go so to give you a more specific example um let's say i have a wedding tomorrow i've downloaded all the music for the wedding um i've set up the crates so that it says traditional dances um dinner bouquet toss etc um once i copy over the serato folder and serato backup onto here as soon as i open up serato those crates will be there um, with all the music and they will work. Everything will work um, and you don't have to, you know, take any uh, additional steps. So if you have any questions on any of this, if I've skipped something, um, just let me know in the comments and I'll answer it. And uh, thank you.